For that, we need to learn about FBDs, that is free body diagrams. A free body diagram is a diagram of a chosen system in which we represent all the forces acting on it and thus calculate the net force. Now I'm going to tell you the steps involved in this. Step one, select your system. Now in selecting the system, we must be careful because we must be clear about the boundary of the system we have chosen. Here, this is our system, this block. Step two, identify the forces acting on it. Here, along with the given force, we have mg acting downwards. By the way, mg always acts downwards. You know that, right? Now, there is a contact of our system with the incline. So, there will be a contact force, the normal reaction, right? And the normal reaction acts normal to the system, obviously. Step three, guess the direction of acceleration, if possible, and choose a perpendicular coordinate system. In this case, we can choose the axis like this, but because we intuitively know that the block is about to slide down, it is wise to choose it this way, so that the acceleration is along one of the axis, right? Notice that the axes have to be perpendicular. Step number four, resolve the forces along these axes, and now write the force equations. Now in this case, if I resolve mg along the x-axis, the axis which we are calling x, then if that angle is 37 degrees, then this will become, yes, that will be mg sine 37 degrees. And you know the value of sine 37, right? In a 3, 4, 5 triangle, yes, sine 37 will be equal to 3 by 5. So that becomes 60 newtons. Now if I find the net force in that direction, that will be 60 newton plus 10 newton, yes, equal to 70 newton. That's the net force in the x direction. Now you've got the mass, right? How much is the mass? Yes, 10 kgs. So the acceleration in the x direction will be easy, right? 70 divided by 10, that is 7 meters per second square. Now let's go to the y-axis. In the y-axis, you have only the normal reaction acting upwards and you have a component of mg acting that way, right? That is mg cos 37. Now mg, you know the value of mg is 100 and mg cos 37 will become how much? Yes, 80 newtons. But do you see any acceleration in the y direction? There is no acceleration in the y direction. What does that mean? It means that the net force in the y direction must be equal to zero. And so, n must be equal to 80 newtons. So you have calculated the value of n and you have calculated the value of acceleration in the x direction. <laughs> now the whole uh, breaking news thing was of course meant as a joke. We cannot amend the laws of nature. She is the way she is. But talking about manipulating natural laws according to our wishes reminds me of this quote from the famous theoretical physicist Richard Feynman, which he wrote in the report of the Challenger disaster, which by the way you should check out. He said, reality must take precedence over public relations, for nature cannot be fooled.